captured one of the worst cases of animal cruelty here in San Diego County. The man who admitted to torturing and killing cats is going to prison. The cat that led investigators to Joshua Boyer is being called a hero, and animal lovers wore bright orange shirts in court today calling for justice. CBS 8's Abby Black shares the emotional testimony and reaction to his sentence. Joshua Boyer pleaded guilty to torturing and killing at least 10 cats. His attorney said that he suffered from mental illness, but the pet owners who spoke during his sentencing today gave him no mercy. We need to warn you, details in this unimaginable case of animal cruelty are horrific. Evidence in Joshua Boyer's sheds included cats used as target practice with crossbows, cats zip tied to cages outside and left to die a slow and painful death in the heat. For nearly five years, Jeffrey Johnson and his wife Elizabeth have been waiting for justice for their orange tabby cat, Leonard. I don't know, I'm just gonna cry, but it's just, um, it's come full circle and at least he finally has the justice that he deserves and he's a hero because without him, this would have never come to light. San Diego Humane Society investigators say in May 2019, Leonard's GPS led them to a shed connected to Joshua Boyer in Escondido. They wore body cameras during their search and say that they found 125 pieces of evidence, including 10 dead cats, firearms, and tools used to harm the animals. Your Honor, Boyer is a sociopath. He lies to people, he charms them, he charms the mental health professionals the same way he tried to charm everyone in court today. The prosecutor says that Boyer committed stolen valor. He posed as a service member and wore military uniform to persuade older people that he found on Craigslist to adopt their cats for free. And he does not get my forgiveness because it was disgusting what he did. Boyer's attorney says that while his wife suffered from postpartum depression, he also suffered from an undiagnosed mental illness. During his sentencing, Boyer wore a mask and spoke in hopes that the judge would give him probation instead of prison time. I'm extremely sorry for all the people who, whose pets I have hurt because I know how it feels to lose a pet. It's one of the worst things. The judge sentenced Boyer the maximum eight years in prison. Eight years to me is not enough for what he did. That's disgusting. The court says that since he has credit for time served, he could also get credit for good behavior and be out in two years. So I hope that he suffers. I hope his conscience eats him alive, and I hope he gets what he deserves in prison. In Vista, Abby Black, CBS 8. Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside your head with another one. Today we got a sick individual who was torturing and killing cats. Sentenced to prison time. He was he was using them as target practice with bow and arrows. Zip tying them to cages and leaving them to die in the heat. What a scumbag this guy is. Let me tell you something that my mother always used to tell me. That's how serial killers start. They start with animals and then it ends with humans. I'm going to tell you this. This guy... The look in his eye, yeah, you, you something ain't there, something ain't right. So I'm going to tell you this. If he gets out in two years, don't be surprised down the line, you catch him for murder. Killing people, and I swear this is crazy because who dresses up as an army veteran to get animals from old people and then kill them? That's just sick. I can't believe, boy, and he's in court talking about, I know how it is to lose a pet. I bet you do, because you killed the pets. You sick son of a bitch, boy. Prison time, I don't know how you can get treated, but if you get out in two years on good behavior, you guarantee you're going to see this guy on the news for killing a person next. And they always want to blame mental illness, mental illness. No, 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 no. You, you, you're just sick. You're just sick. And any, anybody who uses cats for target practice is a sick, sick individual and don't need to be in society because the next thing you're going to do is either kill kids or kill adults. And that is the start of a serial killer. He might have already killed people and we don't even know because that look, in his eyes, that's the look of a madman. And I'm telling you this, 
to all them old folks that he went and dressed up like a veteran and took their cats. I feel sorry for them old folks. That is the most scumbaggish shit I've heard all day. To cats. My mom loves cats. So when my mom sees this video, she's going to flip out. I'm not going to lie to you. She loves cats. I have cats since I was a little kid living with my mom. When she watches this shit, she's going to lose it. She's going to leave some comments here. So... With that being said, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. And this is a sick story, but I had to talk about it. <sighs> Next thing you know, he's going to be on the news for killing a human being. Like I tell you, every time around this time, I'll catch you on the flip side, player.